Good afternoon. My name is Tumitadi. Um, and then I'm back with another video. Let's get down to business, shall we? Oh, before we do that, uh, today it's Wednesday, the 28th of July, 2021. Time is 12 minutes after 2 p.m. And we're still continuing uh, with our series on vision control. And previously we did uh, this video, Get in Visual Studio and Get Changes tab. And I'm excited that we covered that video uh, because then today I want to focus on branches. So we're gonna do branches today. Before we talk about exactly what you're gonna be doing today, let's take a look at something on GitHub. And also on Azure DevOps. So, if you haven't uh, subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do so and give it, this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you do have any. That will be much appreciated. Okay, now, why am I here? Oh, it's because I want to show that I've been busy. Uh, let me go to repositories. Yes, I've been busy. Um... I do have SMS API. It's a .NET Core Web API project. That one is completed. It's already been deployed in production. Identical Docs is making use of that project. And then I went ahead a couple of days ago uh, to create um, an email API, also a .NET Core Web API project. Um, it's still under development. That's what I want to show, you know, a progress. And my new system, C versus C, as you can see, it has been updated um, two hours ago. Okay, why is this thing now froze? Nevertheless, so this is what I'm talking about, email API. And I think while I'm here, we're gonna look at the branches. Okay. Uh, get up, what's up? Okay, so as you can see, three hours ago, I put some changes to it, and then the number of the commits in total, how many are they? Well, Azure DevOps is so ridiculously stupid that we cannot see the number of the commits in total, but nevertheless, so CVSC updated two hours ago. The email API updated three hours ago, and yeah, 12 comments. One way or the other, I'm gonna finish this project. Okay, so we're gonna talk about branches today, right? So, and then I wanna go ahead and use identical docs as an example. So why the topic of branches? Uh, before we do that, let's do some Google research. Let's do get branches let's hear what the experts have to say okay and then i'm gonna talk about the importance of this aha uh -huh. this should be a perfect explanation maybe this one okay so what do you have to say let's see Okay, this document is an in-depth review of the Git branch command and a discussion of the overall Git branching model. Branching is a feature available in most modern version control systems. Branching in other v, uh, version control systems it can be an inexpensive operation in both the time and disk space in Git. Branches are part of your everyday development process. I love this. I think we are done with this video. Branches are a part of your everyday development process. Git branches are effectively a pointer to a snapshot of your changes. When you want to add, ha, this is critical. When you want to add a new feature or fix a bug, no matter how big or small, you spawn a new branch to encapsulate your changes. This makes it harder for unstable code to get merged into the main code base. And it gives you the chance to clean up your features history before merging it into the main branch. I love this. 
I love this. And I love this uh, diagram that this is the main uh, AKA master branch. So little feature, big feature, but you need to be disciplined. I'm done. This was perfect uh, definition of a Git branches. So let's start with the local development. Okay, this is my local development machine where everything is locally. And we still want to cover the topic of locals versus a remote, right? And why it's important to keep on working and instantly push, um, assuming that you always are connected on the internet. Okay, so, and also I'm excited about the next uh, video I'm going to make it tomorrow. It's called the project, uh, project to branch. So basically what it means is that if you look at the number of branches I have, Visual Studio, wake up, wake up. Okay, so these are the local branches. It's imperative to understand. We have the main branch called master, and therefore we can have any number of branches, both locally and remotely. And that's where the topic of this video comes in or on this video, that why would you have this number of branches locally and then remotely you have only one or two branches, as in my case of identical dogs. So now, this project, identical dogs, we'll talk about this. It has its own branch, which is web branch. And then MVC, unfortunately, MVC Grid doesn't have a branch because I used a master branch. And we'll talk about the Git history. Uh, there's a video scheduled for Git history. Okay. And then these two guys, this is now Xamarin uh, platform specific for Android, Xamarin platform specific for iOS. They don't have their own independent branches. Instead, I'm using the main branch because 98% of me coding is happening on this project, which is uh, the shared project. Okay, so it has its own corresponding branch, which is mobile. And then DAL, obviously, this is DAL. But now look at I have DAL for .NET Core. Obviously, we have core underscore dal. That's how I do it. And then we have um, MVC for .NET Core. We have core for MVC. And then we have core for WPF. I have core for WPF. I also have a core WPF a class library. And there we go. I also have a core for Web API, core Web API. So you get the idea at a normal Web API. And then I have YouTube. This one is for me if I need to play around um, on this um, project and we'll, we'll probably explore this some other time. But currently I'm on master branch and we'll talk about why there's an uh, uh, this up arrow, but not now. So these are the low cars. But if you look at the remote, now remotes, I only have uh, three branches two on GitHub, one on Azure DevOps. So on GitHub, I have the main one, which is master. And then I also have a solid. And then on Azure DevOps, I have master. So let's take a look at that. We are done with you. Okay. So it's very important. So why do I have the number of inconsistent branches locally and remotely? Because I'm a single developer. Internet, wake up. It was a visual that was sleeping. Now it's you that it's... Why? Okay. For some reason, um, I'm no longer connected. Now I went, I came back. Okay, what, 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 what happened? You can't do that. What happened? Okay. I apologize about that. Cool. So now on Azure DevOps, let's go for identical docs repositories. And then on GitHub, let's go for identical docs. There we go. Which one loads faster? Okay. So there we go. We have two branches remotely of which the number of branches uh, we have is solid. And then we have master. So this is a default branch right cool and then when it comes to azure devops i only have one branch 
can either go here. See, I have one branch. Let's give this guy a second. Only one branch, which is a default. I can create a new branch also remotely. And here also I can create a new branch. Um, bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. How do you create a branch? I click here, I type the name of the branch, it will create a new branch. Okay, cool. So, because I'm a single developer, so that's why um, I have number of multiple branches. Because I don't like to tamper, when I'm on mobile, I don't like to tamper with uh, a branch for web. When I'm on DAL for the Nicole, I don't like to tamper with the branch for DAL uh, targeting.net framework. This is why I want to do this video. It's important to do this. It's absolutely important. Now, here's the thing about version control. That's why not everybody gets it. It's because we have a lazy developers. You right now that is watching, you may be a lazy developer because it takes a discipline to move from one branch to the other. This is when the topic of um, conflicts may arise and you need to know how to fix them. So we'll try to simulate the conflicts. And then this is where the big topic of merging the changes comes in merging the changes and then remotely this is where the big topic of a pull requests now comes in so i haven't done any pull requests as far as um azure devops but soon i'm gonna do pull requests because i intend to do ci and cd while the video is scheduled you know that we're gonna cover particularly on this one uh, I'm not sure about CI and CD for GitHub, but you know, for so for sole purpose of learning, I will do it. It's called um, GitHub Actions, CI and CD. Okay, so I do have 25 closed um, pull requests. Please go back to a video that um, is titled App Center. I did explain and I did show uh, this closed pull request. Okay, so. Now, that's where the topic of pull request and then mention the changes comes in. There's something also that I like to do. Now, I want to I wanna go to, let's see, github.com. And then I notify dash crew. Yes, let's see. Because I still have access to this pro, aha, uh -huh, there we go, uh, repositories. Although it's a private one, I do have access to it because I'm a collaborator. There we go. Now, there's something I want to show here. So this is uh, or was our CUT's third year IT project for Will. There we go. A CUT's work integrated learning project. Okay, we did fantastic uh, work here. Fantastic. Now, look at the number of the branches. So this was my team. So Bungi as a team uh, member had her own branch. Jimmy as a team member had his own branch. Loazi as a team member also had his own branch. Paul as a team member had his own branch. Lastly, Tabo had his own branch as a member. And then finally me. I would push a code to me. So let's take a... This is going to be interesting because now remember we, we were a team. So each and every person had their own development machine and they had this project I notify, right? Now, what happened is that they didn't have multiple repositories locally, but they did have two, meaning that they did have um they did have master and then they had the one that came from remote. So if it was to me, it was master and to me. If it was Bongi, it was master and Bongi and so forth. Okay, so this is shows because it's it's a very important. It shows you see the number of commits for master. It's six eight nine. If I go to Jimmy, how many number of the commits for this specific branch? Six ninety one, and it will show if I need to create a pull request. No, yes, it will show that this branch is two commits ahead of master. We'll talk about this. This is where the topic of pull request comes in and merging. And if I go to Paul. 684 so he's behind master branch meaning he doesn't have the latest from master branch don't worry about the uh, ahead one because it's very important 
Uh, so those three that are, are, are ahead, we need to take a look at them. It's very, very, very important to understand what happens. So I came up with a policy that because I was managing as the reviewer and administrator for the entire uh, Git, uh, GitHub uh, repository that, that when you push, you push your own branch. When you push, you push your own branch. So if you look at Paul, Paul was doing some work and mostly if you see to me, this is me pushing to uh, this project down, right? And then this is where that I did a uh, pull request to say, let me give you the, uh, the changes. So if you look at the number of the pull requests, uh, we have 171 close. So I was busy. I was giving them changes left, right and center. Literally busy. Literally. You know, so we'll, we'll still take a look at, do we have a pull request? Why don't we have a pull request? Now we do. Now this is a pull, but we need to have a pull request. Pull requests. Fantastic. So in a nutshell, this is what I want to show about the branches. Uh, it's a very important topic when it comes to branches. That so likely because I'm disciplined, I don't need to create a new feature for web. And by the way, this is two in one. So an interesting thing because it, um, it's both MVC and Web API. Let me just show with one folder. Uh, if we look at Automapper, MVC, Web API. If we look at controllers, MVC, Web API. If we look at validators, uh, this Web API, services, um, V models, this is only MVC. And then blah, 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 blah. Contract, it's Web API only. But the point is, because it's two in one in this project, I do have independent uh, branch for web, which is MVC, because I did create this when I started initially, because I started with one project and I brought in down and then so forth. Uh, so that's when I'm like, oh, no, let's create a web API. If I'm doing some changes, it's only going to be for web API. And I can show that when we do get history at a later stage. We're still going to do get history. So in a nutshell, this is what I want to cover. So what are we doing tomorrow? Oh, we're going to do a how. So we're going to uh, use, uh, let's do this. Let's close this solution. We're going to use our newly created repositories both locally that we pushed to remote, that we're gonna create multiple projects. So we'll talk about, because I need to do some work. We'll talk about how do you write the appropriate common message. So I'm gonna simulate with those uh, dummy projects. So we're gonna use this uh, repository, uh, YouTube, private new, YouTube, public new. I'm gonna start with one and yeah, and then we'll do the other one later on. So I'm going to add multiple projects to simulate some of the work moving forward. So with that being said, I hope that you found this video informative. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And then if you have any comment, please leave them down on the description below. And or rather on the comment uh, section below. Uh, so this is done. There we go. And then please subscribe for more daily content because I do a lot of work and then this work is absolutely gorgeous and juicy, if you will. So with that being said, thank you very much.